Hello and welcome to my let's play of Crusader Kings 2. As always, this is Densius. And we're carrying on exactly where we were before. And we're already at 33%. Excellent. Last thing we want is to... What is your financial situation? Acceptable. Dang it. I hoped it was unacceptable. God has a plan for everyone. I am not zealous yet, but I will be now. Can I pilgrim? I can go on a pilgrimage. I just haven't... <laughs> didn't even realise I hadn't gone on one yet. <sighs> so how's your day been? <laughs> but, oh, good. Faunus gave birth to a son. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, toilet. So, what should I talk about? I mean, I'm literally just holy warring this territory. It will, it will give me an event pop up because I'll finally have captured, after all these years, the entirety of the Kingdom of Egypt. Uh, but all the territory within the Kingdom of Egypt will be returned to the Empire. Egyptus will be restored. Hey, 10,000. And off a piece. Enforced demands, demands enforced, I win, everybody's happy except the people who just lost land. They're not happy. But they're not my vassals, so I don't care. Now while I am temporarily... <laughs> I never use those events. I'm going on a pilgrimage. Go to Jerusalem, as I'm right there, and I just fought a war to defend it from the province of Egyptus. There we go. The dark times are over for the people of Egyptus, as Roman rule has been restored to the province once more. The land of the pharaohs served well as the breadbasket of the old empire, and it will again become a vital cornerstone in continued prosperity of the glorious Roman state. 100 prestige. My things are packed. Everything is in order. At the end of my journey, the Holy Land awaits. Hey, my son's my regent. I'll give him some uh, stuff to do. The Lord is showing up. Oh. oh, this is the event to give me Zealous or Cynical. But I already have Zealous, so I'll just go with that. How unexpected. Uh, basically, Holy Knights turn up. I think I'll make a friend. I made a friend. Hi. Uh-huh. Celibate. Married. Right. You have finally arrived at Jerusalem. Passing by the Mount of Olives, you enter through the city gate and are immediately overcome by the... You can read that. I don't want to read it. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Ooh. Do I have Gregarious? I don't. Only 50%, but... Didn't get it. But I did get that. And I didn't lose... Um, and you ended that. I didn't lose... Zealous as I desperately try to work out what words are supposed to be coming out of my mouth. It's a problem I'm going to face. Now I'm going to go over to... Now I'm going to... I'll go here. And I'm going to be working my way across back over here by attacking the relevant provinces along the way and then I can continue the damn he won that I have to holy war for that whole section you just the king of Mauritania do you have another sultanate you have you have both that's a problem I can't shatter you oh well doesn't matter then. It's going to be a slow, steady chip away. <laughs> Cough, coughing fit again. Okay. Time to begin the campaign against the Arpads. Where are, you're not so tough now you no longer possess a... Uh, no, no. Which is it? There we are. You're not tough now you no longer possess your event spawn troops. Holy War for a province. And we're at 25%. Excellent. Charge across the continent. Not con across the continent, across the Danube. Continent and river. Easily confused. It's 
So the task I'm I've been thinking, I'm definitely at the blob out stage in terms of uh, I'm too powerful to beat site except for event spawned hordes. Uh, which is fine. I like being that strong. And I'm going to continue the let's play until I restore the Roman Empire. Like I said, at that point, the game will be paused. The game will stop because I'll restore the Roman Empire. My glory will be complete. And I'll do something else instead. I've debated taking that through to EU4. I'm getting better at it. More comfortable with it at least. But controlling this much of Europe that much of Europe. It's just... it's too much. You get so many universities. Essentially, you, st you can stay you stay Eastern Tech the whole way through. You never need to westernize because you've got so many university bonuses. You just keep ahead of it. Uh, let's head over here then. And it's, no, it's not... it's not difficult. I mean, the only way to make it difficult would be to include the Sunset Invasion DLC in this Let's Play before I... which I haven't done. Do you are over here? Okay. Which I haven't done. And, um, I mean, I could probably incorporate it with ease. Uh, yeah, okay. Like I said, I could probably incorporate it... Incorpor ah, Aquitaine, eh? I bit you a vassal now, that's right. Doesn't matter. Yes, yes, fight each other. More ha ha ha. My intentions here are now to take Italy. Uh, I suppose what I should do. I should usurp the title. I don't want to usurp the title, but I'm going to. And hopefully. It's at peace. I'm not at peace. That's why. Gosh dang it. Let's have a calculation here. 1,000. Just gather some soldiers. I don't normally like gathering. You might have noticed I don't often, unless I desperately need to, gather armies that are not my little army. My uh, my mobile unit. Because it's, you don't... Uh, ha having a standing army that doesn't count as levies is great, because you can put it right on the border, declare war, everything's good. I'll stick you, and you, and you on it, and win. Charge! Please win. Ooh, there we go. It's more or less content to let the rebellion run its course for a bit and then head over and stomp on it, but I want to get rid of this title of Italy as quickly as possible. It is not my call. No, grant you a claim. There's no one to grant you a claim. I mean, they're useful, especially in the early days of a gov... I've mentioned it. I must have mentioned it. They're useful in the early days of taking over a country. Or well, when someone takes over you from your... Ca oh, my God. The air takes over after your character dies. Christ. Because then you can just take over. Because the uh, rebellion gives you a plus 50... I think it's plus 50 opinion boost. I must have I must have mentioned it. I've mentioned it so many times. Laws, elective. Hi, you're now elective. Hi, you're no longer wanted. Great, no king vassal for me. Hey, count. Let's. Who who wants you? Do you have a claim on Ubino? No. I'd rather give it to someone than. Let a Carling own it, because there's always a possibility of a dangerous inheritance. Nestora Frenze. And then you are of Spolito. And you are of Ferrara. I'll give it to Spolito. I can always take it from again at another date. You are Spolito, right? Yeah. And you, I can and will declare Holy War for Verona. That will prevent Carlings that you're related to from coming to your aid. And I win. Force demands, I win. 
basically um, the other Carlings are Orthodox like me and that guy was Catholic therefore they wouldn't join him because they wouldn't join against a, Catholics won't join against a holy war no. your own religion won't join against holy war against you regardless of alliances and I win that fight please who did you get on your side? oh the king of West Francia and it's yours uh, might as well go eat you. There we go. For the second time since the fall of the Western Empire, Italy has been liberated and restored to proper Roman rule. Hopefully for good this time. The great city of Rome itself is now yours, and even hardened soldiers can be seen weeping as the imperial standard flutters in the breeze from Trajan's column. Long live the Empire! Not that I've owned Rome for generations at this point. Uh, son was born. Oh good, two sons. Hi. Get beaten. Uh, yes, I suppose I should accept your uh, peace. So I'm going to march my army over here to begin the Pratt campaign to shoot westwards and take over the... What's this? Oh no, I'm claiming the place for me. Because, as you can see, I have a strong claim on it. Yes, it's my cousin owns the throne, doesn't he? Yes, a cousin. I didn't have to select him. Uh, but you know what? I think that deep down, every member of my dynasty wants to see a restored Roman Empire. And uh, even him. I mean, yes, I am taking his lands from him. Yes, it's uh, you could you could call it theft. But uh, I've thought about it long and hard, and decided that it's best if I become ruler of everything that was once within the Roman Empire. I'm not going to just randomly release territory that uh, was mine and look, that I own that's... Uh... Oh, that's right, I've got the Holy Order with me. I'm not going to randomly release territory. Ooh. Strike. Oh, face smiles upon me. Excellent. Well, that war, this war is over quicker than I expected it. Uh, Go to claim. There we go. I am now the king of this place. And now I get to use some... Negative 31? Really? Really? You're content? Well, that if that's the case, then I'll grant you... Um, one. There we go. That. Laws of the Thuringia. Elective monarchy. No vassal has a negative opinion of me. Vassals. Oh, quite a few to do. Why? Foreign conqueror. Well, that would explain it. It's already elective. It's not. It's primogenital. Um. Hi, money. Exactly zero. Excellent. Hi, money. Eight. Wonderful. Really? Hey, you can have that, and then I demand you convert. Uh, you. And you. Right. Now I can make it elective. And do the exact same thing again. Destroy it. I don't want any excess kingdom territories in my empire. Right. Well, that was nice. The Roman Empire is substantially larger than it was. Did I set the timer going? I didn't! I don't know how long this video has been going. I'm going to pause it, find out. I might be ending the video here, or joining you in a moment. So if I'm ending it, ciao for now. And welcome back. A few more minutes to go. So, uh, are you independent? You're fighting someone? I'm going to Imperial Reconquest part of you? All of you? Part of you. Which part? Do I have a duchy of any of this? Uh, do I care enough to do it? Well, I have to do it sometime, don't I? Uh, declare Imperial Reconquest of that bit. Very well. Hmm? Oh, because I just destroyed the title. You got a negative as well as a positive. Oh, 
99% really uh, I own part of this already the city there anyway huh and offer peace and force demands win you independent? you independent? they are Imperial Reconquest, Imperial Reconquest. What are they fighting over? They're fighting over Duchy, are they? You belong to that one. Yeah, the Imperial Reconquest of that and the Imperial Reconquest of that you know what, move you over there just take that and then move over here take that See, take the count territory first, and then the duke. Oh, I own that territory now, and that. Interesting. Oh, I own the duchy of it as well. You are uh, fine with the religion, but I'd rather have uh, someone of the similar culture group. And bonk. That one one. Wonder why. I mean you're only facing a massive empire. Why couldn't you win? Should take them as well. Okay. Oh god, everything. I press everything in panic. Thank you for watching. My name has been Dentius. Ciao for now.